the good. We compare the two titans, Maya Shade and Harmony, against each other. In this video, we're gonna figure out what the strongest boss or monster in the game is. Or, hey, what's going on, everyone? One Doctor Genies here, and welcome back to another Prodigy video. We made a video about this a few months ago, where we basically came up with the conclusion that Myra Shade was the strongest boss or Prodigy. Well, in this video, we're gonna prove that wrong because, as you guys know, Chapter Two of Harmony Island came out a while ago. And from chapter 2, we learned that the Ancient One has her full form unlocked, which is absolutely amazing. And the Ancient One can cast a variety of spells. So in this video, we're basically going to be comparing the two Titans, Maya Shade and Harmony, against each other and see who is stronger. Right? Yeah, so let's get straight to that. Alright guys, let's head over to Harmony, right? So now, every single time I battle the Harmony, aka Harmony is the name of the Ancient One, right? So every time I battle the Harmony, Harmony was at level 100 and had approximately 42,000 health. Now, that isn't a lot of health, although I do believe it's more than the health of the... Although it's more than the health of Myra Shade added up. Right now, I'm quickly gonna make the editor cross-check that. Editor, tell me whether or not it's right or wrong. So now, what makes Harmony stronger? Well, if you look at Harmony, Harmony has two special things which she can cast. She can A, lock up our spells, which is absolutely absurd, right? She can just casually lock up our spells and stop us from casting it. As you guys can see over here, Harmony casts this action, which basically locks up our entire spell. Now, what's next after this? Well, you'll be surprised, because that's not the only special spell which Harmony has. The next special spell which Harmony has is she can force your pets and you to switch around, right? She can basically switch around you and your pet's location without you even clicking the switch button. Like, it's like magic swish. Bam! And you and your pet's location is completely switched around and you'll have to switch back if you want your battle to go smooth sailing. So yeah, you guys can see this is basically the action which Harmony performs before she decides to yeet your wizard into oblivion. Hey guys, so we're casting our first spell on top of the Ancient One doing 5,000 damage, which is kind of disappointing, but, oh well, what? Nani? She just switched the- what? What in the world- what spell did the Ancient One cast? She just switched our pet's locations. What is this? Alright, it seems like the Ancient One can teleport me with my pets, so that's a new spell. Right, so then over here you guys can see Harmony basically switched up the position of me and my epic, which is kind of frustrating. So yeah, that's, uh, those are the two special spells which Harmony can cast. But not only that, you guys know Harmony is ancient, right? That's pretty much proven. So not only that, but Harmony can cast some special spells. Harmony can cast ancient spells of Prodigy, right? Now if we go into our um, inventory and go to Relic Rings, down over here you guys can see we have ourselves the wrong accounts logged in. Alright guys, now if we check our Relic Rings over here, you guys can see Harmony gave us 6 Relic Rings from Harmony, right? This means that Harmony is capable of casting all of these spells. Yeah, now these spells on their own isn't something like they do do a decent amount of damage, about more damage than what your wizard can do, which already gives Harmony a tip up because she's so old she has like these 6 special spells unlocked with her. And not only that, but Harmony also has access to the Ancient Relic. Which means that Harmony might even be able to cast a spell, the Ray of the Ancients, but wasn't able to in our trial because of how the game is coded. So right, that's one thing, but now another thing is that Harmony can cast Astral Spells, right? In all of our battles against Myra Shade, we haven't actually seen Myra cast an Astral Spell. But Harmony, she just decides to obliterate our wizard with Astral Spells which she casts. Not only that, she can also cast two spells in a row, right? She can lock up your wizard spell and then smack you again with another spell. So that gives Harmony another buff. So if I just by the specs of the boss, it seems like Harmony is the stronger boss, right? She can cast six different exclusive spells along with astral spells and basically every other elemental spell in the game. I do believe so, right? Yeah. Now the one spell type which Harmony cannot cast is um, Shadow Magic, right? Now, unfortunately, Harmony cannot cast Shadow Magic because she's supposed to be like a good person, so yeah, it makes sense. But here's the thing, Shadow Magic is weak against Astral. Now, Astral is decent and strong against nearly every single element type in the game. So that basically gives Harmony the superior spell type because it's strong against Astral, right? Astral is strong against Astral and weak against nothing. Yeah. Now the only thing which puts Myra Shade behind Harmony here is that she can is that she can cast Astral Spells. If Myra Shade could cast Astral Spells, then that would put up directly in front of Harmony. 
Now, our next question comes to who gives the better reward. After basically defeating Myra Shade, we get ourselves... We basically get ourselves an armor set of 3 pieces, but after defeating Harmony, we get 6 relic rings. Now, is 6 relic rings worth 3 armor pieces? Well, you guys can get 6 different spells, and you might be even able to cast 3 different astral spells. So, in the end, yes, it is worth. So, in this case, I guess we can't exactly determine which reward is better, so I guess you'll have to give it at, like, a... They're equal. Now, how many times can you battle the boss? Well, so far, we can battle Harmony a grand total of 6 times, meaning we have dealt approximately... 120,000 plus damage to Harmony, while to Myra Shade, we might only be able to deal 20,000 damage in total and get like 50 stars. So in terms of being able to battle the boss multiple times, Harmony is much better because we can get more stars from them and we get better rewards. Now it comes to the zone which the boss is hidden in, right? Now Myra Shade zone you can only play once, right? And there are only 100 floors. Once you play it, you're done, that's all. At minimum, you guys can get yourself 10,000 stars, and and at maximum, maybe 15,000, but that's all. But in Harmony Island, but in Harmony Zone, you guys can play the zone an unlimited number of times. You guys can battle an unlimited amount of monsters. You guys can get an unlimited amount of ruins. And not only that, but you guys can also repeat the zone multiple times with different battles. And you guys can get yourself different rewards, like you guys can get yourself armors and stuff. So in total, Harmony Island and Harmony win the title of the best boss and zone in the game, right? Undoubtedly, this update just basically smashed everything else in the game and made it the best zone arguably compared to Crystal Caverns or any of the other places. So yeah, if you guys have anything to argue or maybe you guys have a different opinion, put it down in the comment section down below and I will carefully read your comments, right? And yeah, that's all. Hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell if you guys haven't already. And I will be catching y'all next time, one Dr. Genius out the house. Bye and have a good time. Right, yeah, now if you guys want to know what the worst zone in the game is, well, click this video to find that out. Only one seal remains. Show me your newfound strength!